What's up everyone? Matt back here with Phoenix Flippers. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I thought I would run through um, and show you guys some of the things that I've sold recently. Uh, part of the reasons I haven't done a video in a long time is i just been busy and I was asked to take on more of like a leadership role with my church, which I'm happy to do. So I've been busy with that and then just haven't made time to do a video, but I uh, thought it was about time I got another one out there. So I just wanted to go over some of the things that I've sold. Um, just within like the last month or so because it's been quite a while since I've done a video so all right guys so first up is this like once around three track cribbage board um, I've sold I've sold uh, board games and stuff like that before I found this one at an estate sale I thought it was weird because it was so thick and old um, I, I looked it up and it was selling you know pretty decent uh, I paid I think I paid 20 bucks for this um, and I listed it for $64.99 it literally sold within minutes so something to keep your eyes out for, like an old-time cribbage board like this. All right, so next up is this uh, these uh, lot of four Funko Pops. Um, sorry about my hand there. So I actually found these at a Goodwill. They were just in one of the bags hanging on the wall. Um, I didn't know what they were from or anything like that. I looked them up. They're like from a movie like Killer Clowns or something like that. Um, but it, it was all four of the main ones. This, the one spiky, that's the one with like the pink hair. That's spiked up. That's the really, really valuable one. Um, but anyways, I listed these for $69.99 and they literally sold like in seconds. Somebody bought them like super fast. So um, either I didn't price them high enough or somebody just so happened to be looking right when I did it. But a good sell. All right, next up is this uh, Led Zeppelin belt buckle. Uh, I found this at a yard sale. I've had pretty good success with belt buckles. I had no idea this one was going to be this valuable. I bought it for two bucks at a yard sale. I looked it up. It happened to be an old vintage one from 1978. And yeah, you can see the sales price sold for pretty good. All right, next up is this deck of cards. If you guys have been watching my video or have seen my older videos, um, I bought this also at a Goodwill. It was in with a bunch of deck of cards um, just in a bag on the wall. I paid $1.50 for this and like two other um, decks of cards. But this one was a sealed deck of cards from the Golden Nugget Casino in... Uh, Vegas and you can see it sold for quite a bit. Um, I was really shocked. I didn't think it was going to sell. It, it took, I don't know, a week or two. Um, but yeah, it sold really, really good. So don't, uh, don't uh, fall asleep on cards. Some of them can go for quite a bit amount, quite a bit. Next up is this Red Octane Xbox 360 controller. Anyone who's been selling for a while knows that these ones are amazing. Uh, put a couple of games with it, and you can see. I mean, it sells for you know close to 100 bucks or right at 100 bucks. Sometimes you can get more depending on you know if you have really good games with it. But uh, this is pretty much the only Guitar Hero guitar that I look for because it sells so good and it sells so quickly. All right, guys, next up is this uh, Cutco knife. Um, pretty much everybody knows the brand Cutco that it resells very, very well. I found this one at a thrift store. I think I paid uh, eight bucks for it or something like that. But you can see it sold for like 49 plus shipping. Um, if you don't know Cutco for some reason, you can see in the different pictures here that uh, the handle is kind of curved. It has two little indentations. And obviously on the blade, of course, it's going to say Cutco. You can see in the pictures that I'm posting here. But very, very good brand to look out for. All right, guys, next up, because I've been so busy, I've been doing a lot of sourcing on an auction website. Um, this is an item that I found on there. I don't remember exactly what I paid. It was, uh, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put the number down here in the video. I'll look it up and so you guys can see, but uh, you can see it sold for $189.99 plus shipping. Um, <clears throat> sold pretty quick. It didn't take a long time. It, it was working, um, but I have several other things from these auctions. So I'm going to go through some of them right now so you guys can see. I've had pretty good success with those. All right, so here's a few more things from these auctions. I, I've never heard of this before, like GURPS. They're like uh, game guides or video game guide. I don't think they're video games. I think it's like more like role-playing games. Um, somebody out there can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like role-playing games. I didn't even look in these, but um, I got like lots of these. I've, I bought two two different lots of these like GURPS things, and then... There were some other guides and stuff like that in there. But you can see this one's, I mean, I paid, I don't know. I don't remember how much I paid, but I'll, I'll put it in the video, like the amount that I paid here. But you can see, I mean, this one single one sold for like 45 bucks plus shipping. 
and I ship them media mail. It's pretty easy. I just wrap them up and throw them in a bubble mailer. Uh, so it doesn't cost me very much. All right, guys, this is another um, thing that I got from the auction. Uh, this was in a separate option from all the GURPS things, but it is like a little um, 1975 um, all-star game pamphlet thing. I don't remember, but it had the ticket stub in there too. That was played here in Phoenix. Um, so it happened to be at an auction that I won. Uh, you can see it sold for 80 bucks. I think I paid, well, again, I don't remember what I paid, but I'll put it down here so you guys can see what I paid for it. And then you can see, of course, what it sold for. But uh, the auction items have been moving pretty well for me. Another auction win. So I got a, the, there's one, there was one auction where this guy had a bunch of like old electronics, like um, VCRs and receivers and CD players and cassette players and all that sort of stuff. So I had a bunch, bunch of those that I won in a lot. I paid under a hundred bucks for, I mean, tons and tons of electronics. Um, I sold just this one, this Magnavox DVD VCR recorder. You can see on the on the picture there, I, I got a pretty good amount for it. But that one sell paid for all of the electronics that I bought. I sold a couple others like through OfferUp and stuff as well. Nothing this high, um, but I, I had some old VHS cassettes that I had um, laying around. So I threw a couple in and got a pretty good uh, price out of this one. I'm pretty sure that whoever bought it was just drop shipping it because they said, oh, this is a gift. Please don't include the packing slip or whatever you know so um that's to me is a pretty good sign that they're going to just drop ship it but i don't care i got a good price okay guys another auction win i had i bought this lot of books um i don't typically do books because i don't know anything about them but in the pictures of the auction i saw this particular book franklin booth i looked it up it was selling stupid high so i bought i bought the lot of books and this one sold within a day of me listing it for 150 bucks um don't don't fall asleep on books, especially this guy Franklin Booth. Like I looked up other books by him, and they all seem to sell really high. So, if you're into books, you, you probably you maybe already know this guy. He's like an artist or something. Um, but keep your eyes open. This particular book sold super fast. And I looked it up on Amazon. I don't sell on Amazon, but the ones on Amazon were listed at like seven or eight hundred bucks uh, for this particular book. But again, an auction uh, that I won, and uh, pretty happy with the result of that one. All right, guys, just a couple more here. This one is uh, Ring World Companion 1. It was in with one of those lots of, like, the GURPS things I was telling you about. I believe that this is another role-playing game guide. I didn't know anything about it. Um, it was just in there, and, I mean, you can see it, it sold for, like, 65 bucks plus shipping is pretty good. Um, but keep your eyes open. Some of these little, like, role-playing game-type magazine, I mean, it's, you know, only, like, so thick. Uh it doesn't cost a lot to ship because you just ship them out media mail and bring in pretty decent money. Okay, so here's another one, the complete guide um, to classics collectibles. Never heard of it before, but again, it was just in one of those GURPS things in the auction. Um, I uh, This one was like still in a protective sleeve and everything, like almost like it had never been opened. Um, but... I listed it. It sold very, very... All of these little GURPS things, except for the ones that I'm just, like, showing you pictures of that I'm not talking about, have sold super, super fast, like, within a day or two, including this one and the last one I just showed you, the um, companion one. Uh, they've done pretty good for me. So, guys, there's just a few things I've been selling lately. Uh, hopefully you learned something, because I know I did when I was looking through all this stuff that I have sold recently, and these things were just ro odd, random things that I don't normally sell. But they brought in decent money. Um, so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I would appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. I am going to start putting out some more videos since it's been so long. Um, but anyways, thanks so much. And hopefully you enjoyed it.